Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and it will be for February to March 2021 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you are Scorpio. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your first oracle card. So what do we have for Scorpio please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you, it flew out. Oh, <laughs> We've got serendipity. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. I mean, look. Isn't that lovely? Feels like things are looking up, or will do. Okay. Message for Scorpio, please. Angel Spirits Guides, our lovely Scorpios. Okay, so we have some practical advice here, something that you might have been thinking about already. Savings. As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favour as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. Isn't that beautiful? So very nice energy there, Scorpio. Maybe some of you have been thinking about getting savings underway, protecting yourself, and the message is now is the time to do that, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull an overarching energy or message for the month. This is the Tarot of Dreams, one of my favourite decks. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides in Money and Career Only, please, for February to March 2021. What do we have for our lovely Scorpios? Thank you as an overarching energy for the month. So we have judgment. Powerful card there. Karma as well. So I'm going to pull five cards, Scorpio. The first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is what is going for you. Third card is essentially what's going against you or any obstacles to overcome. Fourth card is advice from spirit. And the fifth card is the outcome. We'll clarify where we need to and remember it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, your card is flipped over, so we have the Eight of Swords in your challenge position. Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. Also quite karmic energy, the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Wands is what's going against you. The King of Swords is the advice from Spirit. And your outcome, we've got the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Very nice energy. Okay, bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. Very, very beautiful indeed. So the message is bright new prospects are on the horizon. I mean, they are. I have to say they are. Um, in this reading, it feels really beautiful. Very nice energy. Consider some savings here or maybe something, some shift that will allow you to save. Maybe that's what's happening here. Judgment. Let's start with this. It's karmic. It's a reward. Um, it feels like karmic rewards. Remember, judgment is eyes reach far and wide. Our actions have consequences. We are all judged. This is the awakening of the souls. It's that point in time when we are, it's the day of reckoning. And it feels for some of you, um, there is powerful karma on your side pushing you forward. If you have gone through any injustice or difficult experience with people or situations, this is your reward coming your way. There's definitely an energy of karma being on your side. Now, judgment, there's also a feeling here, Scorpio, that I'm getting of something happening. Something happening quite quickly. An event. A shift. Could be out of the blue. Could be something ex unexpected. And it will be calling on you to act could be to make some kind of decision or choice. Yeah. And that's what I'm feeling here. That is what I'm feeling here. Because this is to do with bright new prospects are on the horizon. 
and it feels for some of you there will be something unexpected that will be requiring you to make a clear judgment call a call to action um yeah definitely getting that quite quickly so we have the eight of swords here a feeling i mean you know there's a kind of energy here a feeling of something is futile stuck stuck in your own head i mean this can be when we focus on the negative we keep ourselves stuck it is how the mind can play tricks on us keep us stuck and um, stop our progress stunt our progress even you know this is when we can be our own inner critics but there is a definitely an energy in the challenge position, you know, with the Eight of Swords to release the negative thinking now, to release from any negative influences that you've been surrounded by, you know, because that judgment card, it feels like there is some kind of karmic reward coming your way. Something is opening up for you here. And it will allow you to release some kind of negative energy that feels like it surrounds you. It is definitely to do it in terms of your mind. It's something that's preying on your mind. And I'm definitely getting that energy. But this can be in the challenge position. It can be the ability to release from what this is. So, and it's because of this, what's going for you. There's opportunity, choices to make. Maybe more than one opportunity being presented to you. And all of a sudden, this comes out of the blue. Um... Unex it can be a level of unexpected. I'm definitely feeling that in this energy. Some kind of event, some kind of shift. Um, but this is definitely Venus in Scorpio. The promise of hopes, dreams and wishes coming true. But you have to choose. You have to choose with this card. And it's the card of choosing wisely. Because each of these cups offers different levels of reward. However, the message is... If you stay true to who you are, if you trust your intuition, trust your instinct, follow your heart, you won't choose wrong. And it's interesting because this is leading to this. One of these opportunities is manifesting in something concrete here. So I love the energy. I love the energy there, Scorpio. What's going against you? Challenge. You might be competing against other people. The message is know your worth, know your own capability, know your own power, your own sense of self, you know, your own talents, your own creativity. Um, stay true to that, you know, and you will get head and shoulders above the competition. I'm definitely getting that energy. It can also be an energy of feeling a bit overwhelmed. And again, if you're feeling overwhelmed, the message is keep taking action, keep going. So any, any, op any opposition or don't focus on other people, don't pit, pit yourself against other people. This is about focusing on your journey, on your hopes, on your dreams, on your potential, on your path. Don't bother about other people. If you're competing against other people... The message is, yeah, that's fine. Let them do their thing. You stay in your power. And that's how you get head and shoulders above the competition here. But there's definitely an energy of, again, this can also mean feeling overwhelmed. You know, the effort, the energy is draining to the point of exhaustion, but the messages keep going. You know, even though you don't know it, you are rising above that which opposes you. So... This King of Swords is an interesting one because I, it can be a person, male or female energy, but it feels here, Scorpio, there is some, it feels like some professional, some professional is influential. It could be an intermediary here, or it could well be somebody who is involved in bringing one of your hopes, dreams and wishes to fruition, an intermediary, or it could be the end person, the person who is in business. This can be somebody in authority, somebody in business, somebody who is very, very smart, very clever, um, a good strategist, a visionary. I mean, you'll be meeting this visionary. You will understand their accomplishments before you meet them, if that's the case. Um, but it definitely feels, male or female, there is somebody who you'll be meeting and they will be instrumental in bringing some hope, dream and wish 
to reality. So could be a professional, a recruitment consultant, a business advisor. I mean, call it what you will. But it feels that they will be instrumental in bringing this about. So the Ace of Cups. And this is the new beginning. This is the cup that you have chosen uh, and manifested and made real. The new beginning. This is very good in terms of an offer or an opportunity. Absolutely something that you really want. Something that's absolutely close to your heart. And it's given to you by the hand of God, the divine universe. Again, karmic rewards. So the message is your call to action. Act. Nothing is so big that you can't overcome it in the next month or two. That is what that card is telling you, even though you might think it is. Um, know your own power, your own capability, that by continuously taking action, you will overcome competition, you will overcome any obstacles, things that seem bigger than you are, you know, things that seem futile, that, that you feel futile, the situation's futile against you. The message is no. Now, this could be you as well, you know, this could be you putting a plan into action, having a strategy, thinking clearly, understanding how you need to move forward. But it feels that there is somebody, I'm definitely getting a person here, some kind of somebody in business or a professional consultant who is influential in bringing this around for you, the Ace of Cups. Um, the Cup of Joy is offered to you, the new beginning, things looking up, new level of happiness and joy and contentment. And there is definitely an energy of the productivity and achievement will be recognised, not just for you, but for you, your home, your family, your relationship. Um, Ten of Cups is a rainbow of blessings. But first and foremost, for me as a reader, it is Mars in Pisces. It is the productive energy of the Ten of Cups. Something that you have worked hard work so hard and overcome obstacles to achieve. Remember the tens are goal achievement energies as well. So the rainbow of blessings is definitely around you, achievable um, this next month or two. But you're being required on to rise, you're being required to act, to make judgment calls, clear choices about your path moving forward because for some of you there is a wonderful new beginning new level of happiness coming your way that is bringing greater contentment happiness security into your home love the energy there so final message for scorpio please angel spirits guides for february to march 2021 money and career thank you yeah i love it love it we have the snake. Now, the snake is a symbol for me of transformation, shedding an old skin. So again, it feels that whatever this challenge is, you will shed it, you will overcome it, um, embrace the new. I mean, it is very much like your card, the snake in that sense. It is It is the Phoenix Rising card in some ways. Um, shedding that old skin, rising in your light once more. We have Kundalini Rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. Yes. So fulfill your potential, the promises around you. Um, there's definitely an energy of take action, a call to action, a wake up call even, um, to step into your power, to step into your light, because the cup of joy is available to you in the next month or two. And that's very much linking in with this card. There are bright new prospects on the horizon. There are. Uh, absolute energy of, of things looking up, things beginning to feel good and an energy of the productivity paying off. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.